So Philip and Alex were out in today. Uh, you've had a, a good day. Philip, how many have you had today so far? Um, yeah, great day. We've had uh, two winners, two runners, uh, three runners, sorry, and two winners. Um, we won the first with a, a lovely getaway filly called Blue Away, who is very smart. She's got a great pedigree and lovely scopey filly, and I think she's got a massive future. Uh, second race we won, which is the mixed open with the horse called Now Ben who has won now 16 races for us in the Syndicate, which is an absolute legend for the yard. Uh, he ran, ran really well. Um, first time we've run him over two and a half miles, actually. But he didn't have a very hard race, which is nice, and he, he did it well. Um, and then the third runner was a horse called Ayup Charlie, who is for Michaela, who, who um, her own horse, and he ran really well for her. She gave me a lovely ride, so a good day. And Alex, you've still got one to go. Yep, it's one of the last for Sam Allwood, yeah. Sam Allwood, brilliant. And it's been an interesting season. Um, you've, you've, you've had a great season, haven't you, really, overall? Yeah, really good, yeah. yeah we've um, had plenty of points and winners, and with the Fox Hunters in there as well. It's amazing, really, yeah. Yeah, and, and Philip, you've, you've enjoyed the season? Yeah, uh, uh, um, it seems quite a long season. It's been, for us, it's been a very frustrating season. Although it doesn't look it from the outside, the horses that have run have run very well and our strike rate's quite high. Behind the scenes we've had a lot of problems with a few breakages that were unforeseen. But on a whole the horses have run well, they've finished the race as well and they've come out of them alright. Um, yeah, good, and then obviously it's topped with, at the moment, it's topped with the Fox Hunters with Hazel Hill, which is fantastic. And what type of day was it, that when you went at Cheltenham? A messy day in the end. A messy day in the end, but it was a, yeah, a surreal day because you think you build up to it and you build up to it and all of a sudden then it just sort of the day flies by and you're watching, the, you're watching them at the start, they jump off and Al gave them a fantastic ride and all of a sudden there he is in the winner's enclosure. It's, it's almost a bit surreal that he did it. I suppose the most impressive thing is how the horse did, the, did it and how he won the race. He didn't just win it, he bolted that. And Alex, for yourself, what was the, what was the day like? Um, it was fantastic. In fact, I put quite a lot of hype on him, really, because from when I first ever rode him, it's a good conditions at Sheriff Fan. I've always said he's the best in the sat in. And uh, after that Warwick run, because he was long with him, 12 stone 6. Like, he, if he could have finished in the first three in that, he was entitled to run in the Fox Hunters. And he won it by 11 lengths on the bridle, quicker in the way. Like, after that, you, you hope he's good enough to win the Fox Hunters, but until they do it, you just... No, it was, it was amazing. What's the f Sorry, Philip. You never know as well, once those horses, because he's, he's only ever run, um, was it the third race under rules? Fourth yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, quite, although he's an 11 year old, he's pretty much quite inexperienced. And um, to get at that on that big stage, some horses take to it and some don't. Oh, and what's, the, what's the future for Hazel's Hill? What's the future for Hazel's Hill? At the moment, he's laying for the Timoco final a week on Friday. Um, that's the 3rd of May at Cheltenham. That would be, unless it wasn't the Grand Cup, it was a possibility you could go to Punch's Town. I think it's quite unlikely. And then hopefully we'll bring him back in next year and that it would be to aim him back at the Fox Hunters again next year. And yourself for turning on that, Alex? Yeah, that's the, that'll be the plan, wouldn't it? Yeah. Brilliant. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you.